In the next couple of lessons, we're going to be talking about TypeScript debugging. So as you know, you can run your TypeScript program in two different environments. You can run it in the browser and you can run it also in the Node backend. Essentially, you can run it anywhere where you have a JavaScript runtime environment. So let's see how can we debug a TypeScript program in both of those most commonly used environments, the browser and a Node backend. In this lesson, we're going to start by learning how to debug TypeScript in a browser. So imagine that you have a very simple program that you would like to debug in a browser environment. Let's say that you would like to add here to this line a breakpoint and that you would also like to add another breakpoint here inside this function. So now, how do we debug this program? Well, one thing that you can do is to debug it first as a plain JavaScript program. And then we're going to see how to debug it as a TypeScript program. So first, let's head over here to the terminal and let's go ahead and let's compile our simple program. So we are going to pass in here to the TypeScript compiler the TypeScript file that we just wrote. So now if I check here the content of this folder, I'm going to see here the output of the compilation. It's this file here that ends in the .js syntax. Now let's go ahead and let's run a simple web page that loads the output of the compilation in the browser. So I have here a plain index.html, which is a blank page. And I have here a script tag that is loading the JavaScript file here in the browser. Now I'm going to run this page using a very simple development server called the light server. So for that, I'm just going to run the command here npm start and this is going to run light server. So that happened very fast. So let me show you what happened here in this terminal. We have just started here the HTTP live server and we have opened here a hot reload page here on localhost 3000. As we can see, the page is empty and the program is working. We can see here easily in the browser dev tools that our console log statement is getting printed out as expected. And we can see here the source where this logging is coming from. It's this JavaScript file. Now let's go ahead with the DevTools open and let's refresh this page. And as we can see, the browser debugger has kicked in and our first debugging statement has been reached. We can add here further breakpoints to our program and stop the program manually if we want to. I'm going to release here our first breakpoint that was triggered here by the debugger keyword. Now the program has reached the next breakpoint. I'm going to click again. It has reached the other breakpoint. So we can inspect here the content of variables using here the debugger. We can check here the course name. We can check the subtitle and any other variable in the program. I'm going to release the breakpoint again. So this last breakpoint has been reached. And now if I release the last breakpoint, there are no more breakpoints in our program and the program has resumed its execution as expected. Because this TypeScript program is very simple, it's still very easy to debug it using directly the output of the compilation. But for most TypeScript programs, it's going to be very hard to debug them using their JavaScript output. In general, that JavaScript output is going to be hard to read for a developer. So what you would like to do ideally instead would be to be able to debug your TypeScript program using the TypeScript source and not the compiled JavaScript output. So let's see how can we do that. We are going to switch over here to our program and we are going to compile again our program. So we're going to run this instruction again, but this time around we are going to ask the TypeScript compiler to generate source maps for us. So let's run this compilation. In a larger program, the compilation is going to take a little bit longer because generating source maps is a time consuming task. And if we check here our output, we are going to see that besides the plain JavaScript output that we have loaded here in the browser, we also have here a source map. This source map has been generated automatically by the compiler and it's going to help the debugger make the mapping 
between the output in plain JavaScript and our TypeScript program. The source map is going to essentially allow us to debug our TypeScript program in the browser and you don't need to do anything special in order to be able to use it other than deploying it to your server right next to the JavaScript file that you want to be able to debug. So let's go ahead and let's see this in action. I'm going to start again our live server. So this has opened here another browser tab. Let's go ahead and let's close here all our sources and let's refresh here the page. So now our breakpoint has been hit just like before, but notice this time around the debugger is showing us our TypeScript file and not the plain JavaScript file. We can see here, for example, the type annotations that are typical of TypeScript. With the use of source maps, we can debug our program just like we did before. So we have all the same options available, such as, for example, inspecting here the content of each variable. We can have both programmatic and manually added breakpoints here. So everything works just like before. It's just that the source map object is allowing the debugger to make the mapping between the actual source that is running in the browser, which is the output compiled JavaScript program with the original source, which is the TypeScript file that we had in our development environment. Everything else works exactly the same. We have here available all the same features of the debugger. And with this, we now know exactly how to debug TypeScript programs in a browser. Let's now learn how to do the same thing, but in a node backend process.